Well, hi there. Hey, pull up a chair. Let's talk a little bit. This is your buddy Dave over at Mars X3D, and we're going to be looking at episode 34 of The Evidence today. And we've dug into the vaults, plus pulled from some very recent finds as well to give you a taste of uh, some of the stuff that's out there. You know, this first example we're looking at, uh, Boot Hill and some machine remnants, remnants <laughs> that I'm calling it, uh, are not non-fractal. They're wide open to interpretation. And yet they're kind of compelling when you look at certain aspects of it. So bear with me on that. And then we're going to look at a, an older um, stereographic view from the nav cams. I think it was on uh, uh, Opportunity that show a distant pyramid. And uh, it's actually quite clear given the distance. And, you know, we found a lot of pyramids on Mars all over the place, all different sizes. So uh, this is nothing new. And then my uh, colleague Terry Burnett uh, posted a beautiful cube uh, that he found in a recent Gigapan by Neville Thompson. And uh, we're also going to compare that with a cube that I found in an older, uh, I believe it's an opportunity. <laughs> Hard to keep track of everything. But we do find a lot of cubes on Mars and uh, they're all very interesting and they all seem to indicate intelligent agency. And I hope you're showing a little bit of your own intelligent agency and that you have learned how to view in X3D. Because if you're not, if you're viewing this video as just flat pictures, A, don't complain about them. It's not till you see them in 3D that it really makes sense. And B, seeing it in 3D, wow, you're catching a whole nother dimension, literally, that's missing from every other channel on YouTube. Appreciate you stopping by. Let's quit talking and go have a look. As I mentioned in the intro, this one may be mostly pareidolia. There aren't enough non-fractals present to make it a sure thing, but nonetheless it just looks artificial to me. I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you and see what you think. It's way down there in the left corner. If you want to go ahead and call me crazy, just take a number and go to the end of the line, down the block a bit. The reason I call this one Boot Hill is that tombstone in the back. No, it's not really a tombstone. It just reminds me of one. That entire facade, though, seems symmetrical. And the carvings are pretty intricate. Or they may just be erosion patterns in rock of varying density. Let's move in, and I'll attempt to justify my contention that this might be artificial. First of all, that center part not only has clear right angles, but it appears to have parallel supports coming down the back inside, as well as a symmetrical support going down behind the wall on the left side. Those curving claw-like fingers at the top right corner seem pretty strange to me. You can see all the different levels of carving both on and inside the facade itself, as well as that arm coming off the left side. So, is this part of an ancient building or just a weathered bit of Martian sandstone? <laughs> I'll save you the trouble. We're not supposed to see or talk about things like this, so just stop seeing it right now. I mean it. Moving up the hillside from that last one in this Giga Macro by Nev, there are anomalies everywhere. The cluster of items about halfway up are what we're going to focus on for the time being. Everything to the left of the big piece is anomalous. If you get a chance to view this on a big screen, you'll see what I mean. It looks like the remains of a crashed jet to me, but I'm just speculating, irresponsibly as always, but I don't need to toe the line to get a research grant, so whatever. 
I was intrigued by the tapering, symmetrical shape of the big piece and how much it resembles a jet engine with the covers removed. I know that this hyperzoom is a little bit blurry, but you can see what looks like plumbing covering the surface. But pay particular attention to the right end. Do you see it? It's circular, isn't it? With a hub in the center. Does that make it a jet engine? <laughs> of course not. Does that make it natural? Of course not. Okay, so here's one from Curiosity. It's out of the archives. And if you look at the target area, way off in the distance, we see a regular shape popping up above the horizon. Here's a clue if you're an anomaly hunter, and especially a newer one. NASA will often leave anomalies at the horizon alone. They figure we can't see them or not interested. So that is often a great place to start looking at a new photo, uh, because that's where you're going to find some pretty interesting things. Now you can see that this isn't the clearest photo in the world, and I have tried to remove the JPEG artifacts that litter the background in most of these blow-ups. But there it is. To me, it looks like a four-sided pyramid with recessed sides on the inside. And it appears to be the same type of angle that we find in the Pyramid of Giza, 51 and a half degrees specifically. Uh, there's a magic to that angle because of magnetic form resonance, but that's not something to get in just now. Fact remains, we find pyramids all over the surface of Mars, and uh, this is just one more of dozens that I have found. Like pyramids, cubes are a regular occurrence on the surface of Mars. Now, in my mind, the sharpness of the edges and the evenness of its construction in this particular example, and in many others, eliminate all doubt about intelligent agency, at least for me. In this particular one, uh, from an old spirit uh, <laughs> stereogram, and there aren't any new ones, are there? Uh, but we do see kind of a recessed arc on the left side with a knob at the bottom center. Almost reminds me of an old radio set or something. But well, we do find these cubes everywhere, and my colleague Terry Burnett just posted another one this last week that is about as clear and clean as any I have yet seen. Let's take a look. Now this one is just hanging as cheese in the breeze for everyone to see. Terry Burnett pointed this out, as I mentioned, and so naturally I'm calling it Burnett's Beautiful Block because that's just what it is, a big, beautiful block. It really couldn't be any more perfect with its clean lines and rigidly perfect 90 degree angles. And see that little item circled over there on the left? We're gonna come back to it in just a minute. Okay, time for the mandatory rhetorical question. Is it possible for a chunk of sedimentary rock to fracture in this way, with all those sharp angles and even thickness? Well, I suppose it could happen, but it sure doesn't seem very likely. And take a look at this little thing perched on a rock shelf. What in the world is that? Another miracle of erosion? I think the right angled rocks we see in the background are just happenstance. The rocks just tumbled together in that shape. But that thing on the edge, that's something else altogether. Hey, thanks for stopping by today and sharing a little bit of evidence. You know, if you like what you see, it sure would help me a lot if you just hit that thumbs up button. And maybe even consider subscribing to this channel. It is an encouragement to me and I appreciate you all being out there and all your notes and comments. It means a lot. This is your buddy Dave at Mars X3D. Be well.